what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here as you see on your screen here this is the official title for screen five filming has wrapped kevin williamson has tweeted he has confirmed it's set screen five will be titled scream filming has wrapped cast and crew are saying their goodbyes had a rap party had some rap gifts going around um and kevin williamson has made it clear that he's very excited about this project he is looking forward to presenting this film to us along with his new crew members and this upcoming cast of amazing amazing actors and actresses who have come together to hopefully honor Wes Craven's legacy in the most respectful way possible he shares some images behind scenes of him with Ghostface Neff Campbell Courtney Cox and he had a image or a backdrop that I know a lot of people caught and they paid attention to it and everyone identified it quickly so let's jump on into that really quick so in this image you see that we have Kevin Williamson and Ghostface but if you look in the backdrop anyone who's seen the original scream over and over again and you're you pay attention to detail you know what house that is that is Stu Mocker's house Stu Mocker's house I can say will 100% be featured in this film it's confirmed via this behind the scenes image and I've been sitting on this since September just been going around speculating because of the fact that a lot of people have been using that house up in California that was used for Stu Mocker's house in the original film they've been doing projects in it and one person in particular they managed to catch the attention of the screen production crew and that production crew got in contact with this individual and that's how they learned that they were trying to recreate Stu Mocker's house and that's how that information started getting passed around and got shared with me and there's just a lot of things that have been going on and Stu Mocker's house has been getting recreated that's why I was tweeting out things if you follow me on Twitter that's why I was tweeting out those things I wonder what they're working on in those sound stages and everything I knew about this for quite some time that's why I just was speculating because of course it's not official until we get proof until we get proof it's not official or until it comes from someone from Paramount or Spyglass but this is coming from Kevin Williamson from behind the scenes image so here's another image of him again Stu Mocker's house it's clearly Stu Mocker's house and you see that Woodsboro uh varsity jacket in the background we have him Nev Courtney and I just want to simp real quick for Courtney Cox because she looks absolutely amazing she's very pretty I don't know how old she is late 40s early 50s she looks very pretty for her age Nev Campbell's lovely as well but Courtney Cox in this image she has me feeling some type of way <laughs> so I just want to point it out that she she's a very pretty Gail Weathers has always been very attractive to me and Courtney Cox brought that character to life in the most beautiful way possible and she's very lovely for her age <laughs> so that's my simp session for this video jumping into some other details about how the the producers involved in this film they have done some interviews and the directors have done interviews recently they recently got released they've done interviews with bloody disgusting dread central and other outlets that have been released to honor the film the finished product of production uh producer william Chirac stated in an interview that the first thing they did was go to Kevin Williamson when Spyglass wanted to relaunch this franchise they had to have him involved with this they made it clear that he was a very crucial aspect to this his approval means everything let's be clear he's the reason we're all here making sure that we're doing it right for West the fans he's been that true north that made sure we stayed on course those words alone just make they they honestly make me so happy and so proud and excited for Kevin Williamson because he got shafted from screen four. Now he has people who are honestly showing so much respect to him. And this is a big moment for him. This is a big deal. He's finally getting to cleanse himself of all that Weinstein baggage from screen four and possibly he dealt with in the other projects. And our cast that we have involved, they've all been saying their goodbyes. I'm sure they had fun on set. They're packing up their bags, leaving Wilmington. I know there's been like a rap party. They all have parting gifts to remember each other with. And they're pretty excited. They've been sending out tweets. They can't wait for us all to experience this film in theaters. And I can't wait to experience it either. Because Scream, honestly, is just such a such a big component of why I'm a big horror fan. I love that movie to death. It is my favorite horror film. It's not the best, in my opinion. But it, it is my favorite. I will defend that movie till the day I die. It, it belongs in the horror genre. It deserves its recognition. It deserves the praise that it gets. And another bit from this uh, interview from Bloody Disgusting is regarding... Matt Benelli and Tyler Gillette, they had this to say about Scream. It's They said that everything that we know and understand about this tone, we learned from Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven, that's not hyperbole in any way, shape, or form. So that's, that's a lot of big words to use there. And it's very, very empowering to know that if it were not for Scream, they think that Ready or Not would not exist. 
They also went over how they would love to work with Samara Weaving in future movies and how their schedules just were not going to work out for Scream 5 because she was busy on another project. We know Samara Weaving brought that up earlier this year. And I'd be down to see Samara Weaving in some future Scream movies if Scream 5 proves to be a, a successful product and it's a successful relaunch of the franchise, I would love to see Samara Weaving. Maybe she appears in the film. I know a lot of people speculated that she could be Kirby Reed's sister. Maybe we have some Reed sister action going on there. But we'd love to see Samara Weaving in this universe, drenched in blood, giving out those amazing screams that she knows how to produce out of her vocal cords. But <laughs> jumping into something else I want to talk about really quick. A lot of people are talking about how the official title is confusing. What is necessarily confusing about it if you're a diehard horror fan? To a degree, I understand, but at the same time, I don't. I'm kind of split 50-50. You know it's Scream 5. You know that the Scream from 1996 is Scream 1. And you know that if we get a remake down the road and it's titled Scream, you know that that's going to be a remake. And what I mean you know is that I'm going to assume you're not the general public. If you're a diehard horror fan, you... I don't want you to be in that mindset of the general public. Now, this might be confusing to the general public, but if you're a diehard horror fan, this should not be confusing to you. And I have a, I know a lot of people are having a hard time understanding why they're choosing to not call it Scream 5. It's, it's pretty clear to a lot of people who understand the success of Halloween 2018 and the downfall from Scream 4. It's pretty clear why they're just calling this Scream. It's pretty clear why they're just calling this Scream. We know at, at its core, this is Scream 5. But it's not rocket science why they're just calling this scream. I think it's pretty clear. Um, I thought it was really amazing to see how close this cast got during this during this production process. All these things they posted of each other is very cute, very um, intimate. Looks like two cast members in particular. I thought they had might have something going on because I know they're going to be an on screen relationship. So maybe they actually fell for each other, similar to Gail and Dewey, which I think would be very cute. But the official title again is scream we've known this since the production started and honestly it's it's not rocket science why they're going with it we it's not rocket science we've known this movie was going to be titled scream for quite some time even before production started we've had that in our we've had that embedded in our mind so i don't know why it, so many people are baffled by it i don't i don't really get it i do but i don't but Getting into something else, talking about what I could see happening at the end of the film, I could honestly see, I don't really, I don't, I, I don't know who the killers are. I, again, I know I've stated that I have at least one ending that's been told to me, but the reason I'm not sharing a lot of details, I just want to talk about that too with you guys. I am not sharing a lot of details that I may or may not know because that's just it. I may or may not know them. And that was proven to me today when Kevin Williamson apparently has fake scripts going around. Kevin Williamson has fake scripts going around and they apparently have things that are being shared online purposely to throw us off. So I don't know what I may or may not know. What if I tell you guys things, it turns out to be false and then I, I have to get canceled for it. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get canceled. So I'm not going to share every little detail nook and cranny that I know with you guys i respect that you guys want to know certain things but understand this is a scream movie i'm not going to come out and confidently say yeah this is happening that's happening all this and that i'm going to sit on it wait for my proof and then i'll show my receipts if you want my receipt regarding Stu marker's house and how i knew about that it's on my twitter account i'm not sharing that here but i'm really looking forward to this project i, I can't wait to see what happens i can't wait to see what the story arcs are for for our new uh characters and i can't wait to see how they do sydney prescott and how that plays out on screen i can't wait to see how gail weathers and dewey are doing i can't wait to see all of these things i can't wait to dive back into this world and i know you guys are looking forward to it too but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you excited if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video Thank you.